Okay, we're on a new map. Uh, what's the name of the map, stuff? Grand Falls. Grand Falls 1.2. Um, I sold all the equipment off that come with the map. And I bought uh, pawns, a loader, one, two trucks, a flatbed, and a pickup truck, and fuel tank. And I paid off the, the debt that comes with the game. The, so we're debt free with twenty three thousand in the bank and some machinery. Cool. Man, I love these new internationals. Holy With a tandem? Well there's a green one at the shop right now. Yeah, and you pick any color you want, and that's the color I picked. <laughs> <laughs> it looks awesome. Love it. I like and it's got with the cruise drive control you got all this uh you can lock the wheels in. It's got an engine brake. Yeah it does. Hit eight or hit Enter on the numpad. Yeah. Microphone, microphone the engine brake and control it up or down. Cool. Yeah. So we gotta get the a truck. I got one truck over here with the low bed. And what I should do is maybe here I'll do it right now. I'm gonna buy another trailer. Uh now we have two log traders. Okay, now we have six thousand dollars. <laughs> okay. There should be there should be another log trailer there. Yep. I got the, I got, I actually have the other truck sitting here. But uh I'll cut for a bit, okay, then, then we'll maybe Microphone we'll load the two trucks up and haul from the mill. Yep, sure. And I think what we're gonna do this time, since I drove around the map, it was actually nice. I think what we're gonna start doing is getting some farming going. Well, I think we got to cut wood first. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, as soon as we get enough money for like some implements, we'll buy some implements. I think. Yeah. But right now, it's the wood business. Uh, okay, just a second here. Microphone muted. I have to ask you, did you set your trigger at the mill a little higher? Or did you just leave it alone? And did you actually add woodlots to this place? Microphone activated. Okay, I'm back. Uh, you can... Yeah, the trigger at the... Uh, all the triggers have been expanded. Okay, so you don't have to... Uh, Okay. You don't have to That's do like the crashing into the train and all that stuff. So, so you can actually just load normal sized wood and stuff now. Yep. Oh good. So we were that what we were hauling earlier was eighteen meter length. Yep. And I kinda of back to fourteen. Okay. Uh so I do have a place where there's like row trees to cut if you want to cut there. Oh, okay. Well what I'm cutting right now is I'm actually down. Um you know where the bio station is? All the way down south. Hey, I see you yeah. on the map. <laughs> Imagine there you that. Go. The other map, I couldn't see you. Yeah, I don't know what he did. Hawaii. Yeah. I talked to John. The problem he's having is TeamSpeak. Yeah, I was talking to him on email. I don't understand why he can't make it work. He's a smart guy. I don't know. But whatever. Uh, yeah. I was actually going to go buy the online version of a uh, truck simulator. Okay, yeah. But they told me I had to have the Steam account to get the the access code or something. Yeah. And I don't I don't have a Steam set up, so. Um, you can sign up to Steam for free. Yeah, but I have an account now. It's in my computer. I just don't know the password or nothing. Oh, okay. I was like, uh, I don't want to fight with that half the night. Yeah. So, I think I'll just spend the 40 bucks, whatever it is, and just, just buy it on Amazon and I'll have my own copy. Yeah, I think the game's only 20 something dollars. You know, it's 40 if you don't buy it with Steam. Oh, is it? Well, that's not what. Is that the same one you're. 
Yeah, I got it on Steam. Well, that's the same one you and John are using. Yeah. Same game. Okay. American Simulator or whatever? Yep. We only have one uh, tractor, do we? Yeah, just for now. We'll get another one. Okay. Right. I'll bring the tractor down, I guess. I already did. Uh, I don't see it yet. Oh, sorry. You're right. That was the last game. Wait. You turned off the traffic? Nope. Cars aren't here. Oh, really? Is there a way to turn on traffic? Yeah, you can turn on and off traffic now. Oh, well, hold on. I think you might have turned it off. I don't see any cars. Oh, I might not have enabled it. it, it yeah, shoot. That's I didn't okay. know that was wrong. You, I think you can enable it right at the start of the game. Like on your escape button? Uh, no, when you first start the game. Yeah. Well, next time I do it, I'll make sure it's on. Yeah. I like it. They should drive at the normal person. I, I personally like it. Makes it more interesting. Right? Yeah. Sun there on uh, trying out my map. Oh, that was pretty funny. <laughs> this one hearing me? Yeah. They never played farming simulator before, right? So. Oh. Works pretty good with the combine. He was freehanding it, so it wasn't automatic anything. That's not bad. Actually, you could, you, yeah, you have, you, you have two separate versions of it. I do, yeah. And, yeah, so if you try to use the same version, it won't let you do it. Actually, I want to try something. Major. Should have put that big that pickup, your old truck, whatever, bolt loader. Sinuses? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right now we're, it's, we're, it's, it's, spring's trying to get, get here, eh? Yeah. It was all melting and stuff. And nice. Break a bit. Yeah, we had minus 32 today. And we're nice. having plus 10 tomorrow. Well, that's not good for people healthy. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? No, well, that's like us. It was, uh, I know guys that were out, were out on the motorcycle yesterday. Really? Well, whatever warm day we had there last. 
yesterday. I think it was yesterday. No, yesterday was cold. I forget what it was. We had a cold day, the same idea, like minus 25, then it was like plus 14 the next day. <laughs> yeah, we get some weird weather out here. Like minus 20 and freezing rain. How's that for you? Yeah, that is weird. You know, it's funny, I kind of like starting over. Yeah, it's funner when you don't have tons of equipment. Well, the point is, you, point is, you start, you start making a bunch of money with the first thing you do. You buy a, way bunch, you buy a bunch of crap you don't need. Yeah. So you gotta remember, there's only ever about two of us at any given time, really. Yeah. Bill, you just give him classic spoon he's cut dimmer. But he actually does pretty good that uh, processor here he's fairly fast at it. Yeah he's I'm cutting it down pretty quick. I can't keep up with him sometimes. I don't think he's going to be able to play it because I don't think he downloaded the map. Well, that's fine then, you'll have to download it. You're about to pick up the truck. Yeah. You did it, we got one. Yeah, we got one. You got one. We have to because that John Deere you're using. When we load with it, it just chews fuel, eh? It's doing good so far. I like to quit this game and change some of the files to get the burns more fuel. Yeah, we could do that easily. Although we'll all have to have the same uh, file. Yeah. We almost easy to copy the file. Here is a folder. Put them in your machines. Yeah. Then it's just copy paste, drop, overwrite, instead of. Trying to explain it, everybody had to do it the same way. Yeah. Like this machine here, you can't. I don't think. Oh, yeah, you, you did yours. Yeah, I did mine. Yeah, the little increments you mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right. I was wondering why I didn't have any troubles with it. I always put mine at 20. 20 meters and then uh, 1 meter increments. So this one here is should be 30 now with half meter Oh, you put halves. Yeah. No. I've never been in a uh, Scorpion King in your game, so. Oh, yeah, I see. Microphone muted. I always take my automatic help, turn Microphone it off. Microphone activated. Automatic help. Yeah, so when you're, it's just, you know, the one, the button when you back up, it tells you to hit Q and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I can see what I'm doing. Where the heck are you? That's 
see it. You up the hill? Yeah. <coughs> Making my rounds. I'm the builder of the trail. I always, I always cut the perimeter of a block first. Okay. Then you know where to stop. And if you don't, Billy will have the whole half the map cut. Now he knows when I say cut this block, he'll cut the whole block. Oh yeah, I could just look at my mini map and I can see you now. I notice I like your maps. They're very well detailed. Yeah. And they're laid out right, everything works. Yeah. <coughs> Billy's maps. I like them for a whole different reason. Yeah. Like I like great big hills and side hillsides and stuff to work off of, right? Yeah. That's cool. My, and next, my next one I'm working on is uh, I'm planning on making a huge mountain in the middle. Yeah. And then it's going to be all forestry, right, in the middle. And then yeah. on the outsides is going to be the towns and the, the BGA yeah. and, you know, all that stuff. And then I'll your farm is on the outside. Yeah. I'd actually like to see a, a humongous plateau in the middle of yep. the map. That's what basically mine's going to be. But I don't mean, I want, I want it high. Like, when you're up very top and you get a spot cleared off, you can look around the map and see for miles. Yep, that's, that's the plan. So when you come off with a little wood on, you gotta switch back all the way down. Yeah. Or, exactly. just, keep, or just keep driving around and around and around to hit the bottom. Yep. That'd be awesome. And it's it's not gonna have as many uh, as many uh, farm fields. Yeah. This one here oh, is probably gonna have just like long, skinny ones, kind of yeah. like that one I have. Uh, field is that number three. Three. Give me something like that. There's gonna be a bunch of those. And then you'll have you know your starting ones that are small. Yeah. Probably just one or two of those. I turned wilting. I turned wilting off. Wilting. Yeah, oh yeah, so withering. So we do get carried away and we don't move the field. Yeah. You put plant growth on slow too. I'll, I'll put it on high. Oh no. I like it on slow because then you know it gives you time to do stuff. Put on high, like you turn around, that's like fully uh, ready to be harvested. Yeah. Yeah, but you're planting it, and then right behind you, it's pretty much growing, and it's, it's half grown when you oh. turn around. I do that. As long as it's not wilting, I don't care, because we'll get to it when we get to it. Yeah. But I do that so, sort of like, it's, let's say, Kelsey wanted to come on, he likes the fern. Okay. Yeah, I get you. Checked out the farm too, eh? We can have chickens and cows. I, know, I, I never really looked it over, but I, I like what I see. Yeah. It's all local and shit. Yeah, you don't have to run all the way around the map yeah. to do stuff. But that's that's a European way of doing things. Run around everywhere? Oh, yeah. If you got cow, all, everybody has their communal farms, eh? Yeah. The one farm over here looks after a bunch of cows. And this one over here looks after sheep, but everybody has invested interest in it. I like uh, the American way, a selfish way to do it. 
Well, it's just so handy, especially when you get into all kinds of different species. Get out all over the map, feed them. And Excuse my car for the wrong time, folks. There's a little tree house here, so I'm trying not to cut all the trees around it. Leave a tuft of trees standing. <laughs> Unlike the other map where it just left the trailer there sitting all by itself. Well, yeah, that, was, that was funny. <laughs> Total, total disregard for anybody, eh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's funny, right? Yes. Yeah. That's a Griswold sense of humor. <laughs> yeah. Thing with a weight on the back, start hitting yeah. the stumps. Oh, yeah. I'll try it without the weight and see what happens. So what, what I'm doing is I'm, uh, I'll cut a circle, right? And then hopefully, eventually, everybody will catch up to the circle. And then when I do the second round in the circle, all the trees, all the woods picked up, gone. We always work it into, into we always work it to the center of the of the cat, right? Yeah. Kinda of cool. Man. Man, I like the look of those trucks. Actually I, I like the I like the old stuff too. I like what works. But I'm a I'm a trucker, right? So it has to be a tandem axle truck. Yeah. I like to be able to take that truck. I, w I wish I could mod vehicles. Wish I had that talent. Because I take like that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I take that truck, and the first thing I do is I'd make it put a headograph on it. I have a version for like a longer version. Yeah. That'd be cool. That'd be pretty easy to do, put a headograph on it. But like starting from scratch, that'd be quite a bit of work. What was that? I, just, I didn't know I could do that. I just hooked onto a stump, cut the top of the stump off it. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. I almost had the wife convinced to play this. Really? Okay, not really. I asked her. Of course, she could be famous. I was thinking that'd be pretty cool to get Joe to play this too. All kinds of room. Yep. Well, I have a, I have, a, I have a, I can, well, so you can change it any way you want anyway. But right now, it's set for five people. Yeah. Lots of time during the week, you're not doing it well. And I still play hockey twice a week and curl and well, have, have a family. And yeah. Yeah. Well, I, don't I, I, I have a business to run, so. True. I haven't, I haven't even on tanks for a month. I always check it and see if there's new recruits or something, but other than that. 
You get anybody that joins still, or? Well, uh, we lose one every once in a while, and we gain a couple. So I think there's about 25, 6 of us now. Okay. It's actually a certain people like it. People who basically just want to be left alone. Don't have <laughs> yeah. Any... But they don't mind platooning once in a while. Like Brian. Is Brian still there? Oh, still there. He'll be there forever. What about uh guy from my west there? Pat? Yeah, he's, he's out there. I check. He, he plays every three, four days. He'll play, play a couple games. Yeah. I just decided to only watch his, his game count. Okay, yeah. Yeah, he's pretty big. Actually, his, his health is getting bad on him. Yeah. He's uh, not working, I guess. It's really? Yeah, it's something on his heart. Oh, man, that's nasty. Yeah. I never knew. Well, he was a real heavy guy at one time, eh? Yeah. He lost a pile of weight. But with what he does for a living, he's... You know, you have to be alert on our crap. And, And really, World of Tanks is not really a relaxing kind of game. Oh. Look, I don't know. It's pretty I'm, easy I'm to too, rage in that. <laughs> I'm, too, I'm too competitive, right? I just take it for what it is. I, I just get up there, I like, I like looking at the graphics. Yeah. I like, I like the high def stuff. And I like, I like surprising all the unicorns. Just how good you are when you want to be. <laughs> I mean, half of them are just stat patterns, right? Yeah. And, uh, which is stupid, really, because they do that, and all the big clans suck them up, but it doesn't make them any better. Uh, I, I did the clan thing. Like, you know, did the clan wars and stuff. Yeah. I thought that was ridiculous. How does it work? You just have a base where you just do what you're told? Yeah. And then you play a one match, it could last like two minutes, everybody could get wiped out. Yeah. You know, you wipe them out, or you get wiped out. And then you wait for an hour before the next match, and you can't go anywhere. Oh, yeah. Stupid. <laughs> it's like, it takes like four hours to do like a four or five match game. Kind of weird. Yeah. Our last game, I remember, uh, you know, Talking about World Tanks, but I'm firing somewhere. But <laughs> her last game, we uh, did a strategy where we just did this huge defense perimeter. Yeah. And the other team just crawled in real slow. Popped everybody. And then popped everybody in. Well, if anybody read a book or will pay attention to history, tank warfare, uh, Blitzkrieg. You yeah, pits are moving and you don't stop. Yeah. Here, I'll cut this out anyway. Oh, here, grab it. You know how much faster that is? That's a nice machine, isn't it? Yeah, it is. When you figure out how to get the wheels out, you have, you have to drop, you have to pop, hit M with your, with your uh, bucket off. Here, I'll just knock this out anyway so you can see something. I think I got it this time. Oh, I'm stuck on the stump though. No, I can put it on four wheel drive here. I'm still stuck. Oh, shit, huh? Am I on your stick? No. There's a huge stump there. Here, I got it. Sometimes you can take a chainsaw and just cut that off, eh? So when we're on Williams game, was that on easy? Uh, medium or whatever. Okay. So I like this one. You don't make so much money. Yeah. It's only a, a masochist, but... I like the game that has a bit of a challenge. Yeah, me too. That's, that's why I figure while we're doing this, once we start investing in some farm equipment, that'll offset a lot of the cost, right? Like we could do it every once in a while, you'll get a ten thousand dollar injection. Yeah. Well, it's gonna be a while. 
Here, I'm gonna take this load. Man, this truck's so freaking awesome. Very impressed. How do you like it? Oh, when I see that, I go, gosh, I have that. Hope it works good. <laughs> yeah, I know, eh? <laughs> Looks Isn't awesome, and then, you like know. It's... We should probably research who makes these mods and maybe give a shout out once in a while and they say. I think that's only fair, eh? Yeah. Well, the thing is, not that it gives them an incentive plan to make better mods, so. That would be nice to have a few modders that kind of communicate with you. Oh, you want this made? Oh, okay, cool. I can mod. <laughs> Takes no, time, though, no, that's the problem. Some of these yeah. modders, like, you know, that's what they do. You know, they, they probably pump this out in a couple days. Me to do it would probably take a month. The map? No, this truck. Oh yeah, it's a lot of work to make it actually make it work and make it look right. Yeah, exactly. I mean, when, when a truck driver is pretty impressed with it, I think that's a oh, I mean, that's a I don't know a good thing. But those peat ones, I really like them. But yeah, they are they do start out a little too quick. They should have the I could fix that. You just change your RPM speeds on the first lo first couple of years. Yeah, but there's more things wrong with it. Than just that. Just get version two. It's version two is way better. See the sound file off that. The, you know those shitty ones. Yeah. I, with, <laughs> I like that sound file. I'd rather have that on those cars. Yeah, version two doesn't have that annoying sound. Yeah. So if you took out the, that sound. I'd like to switch them to the international sound anyway. Then those trucks would be good. I like because they have the, the, the visuals. Actually, there, there was one. This one here, that's. Yeah, they have all the headlights are all. all uh, blacked out, right? Yeah, that one. Peter one actually looked better. Yeah, you're right, actually. I'll have to look it up. Ooh! That was, uh... Dead? Uh, sort of. I just jackknifed. Oh, okay. But I didn't spill the... Oh, yeah, because the weight. <laughs> the load there. That was pretty scary. <laughs> oh! I just rolled it. Really? Yeah. We have five grand, so we're gonna have to... What do you want to do? Leave it the mess? And just go back and get it later when we get more machinery or? Yeah, we could do that. Take the tractor and go and fix it now. You got time, actually. As soon as you sell that load, I'm going to buy another one just like it. Alright. Bring that tractor all the way down there. Well, if you do that, Steph, I got time to finish this block. Okay. Then you sell it, and then I'll go ride on the tractor, and then I come from here, we, can, we can both load trucks and... You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That was really weird, though, how it flipped over on me. Was it lag issue, or just... No, it just felt like it was, uh... uh like I went into the yard, and then it spun out on me, jackknifed. And oh, then I got right. it straightened out again, and it was still sitting crooked. And it right. rolled over on me. You'll see it on the video. It'll be about the 33 minute mark. This map too has this huge grass field. I feel. Oh, oh good. Yeah, so you don't have to go and buy a farm or buy a field and convert it to grass and all that. Good, because I like, you need that from feet and cows and stuff. Yeah. If you cut it all, it's about 200,000 liters, so. Really? Yep. 
So you can set it to BGA or whatever you want. Fine, BGA is fine, but the problem is you kind of need it for your animals. Uh, once you. Well. Yeah. Yeah, you, you need the grass and then you need the forage and all that, right? Yeah. You know, I realized when you had the pig and the, and the fatting and the beef bowl with the cow fat yeah. going on, you're better off to have a, just keep buying it and just keep them fed, and you'll actually make your money back on slurry and manure. No, they don't make any money on slurry. Hey, I don't know, it's been really cheap. Well, if you, if you have that. Uh, yeah, the end of the you know the the certain tanker you buy, you can actually take it and sell it. Yeah, I don't have it in this map though where you can sell it. Uh, Unless you get a placeable. I think it was Missouri Home 2 or something like that. Folks Home or something like that. I didn't like it because you'd have to sell a lot and you only got like 2,000 bucks a trailer. <coughs> well, see, I, I don't know, I, I was doing good. I was getting, you know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars to set a tank, a tanker. Oh, I was playing on hard. No, oh, yeah, I play. I, I usually play medium. Okay. I'm not sure if I can roll this trailer over. But you think every, almost every liter or gallon of water you haul those animals, go to somewhere. I hope the next. I hope the next version of this game. Comes out with like oil patch stuff. Yeah, that'd be cool. I know. Have you drill a well? Right, drill a well, then you put a gas plant on it. Separator plant, and yeah. Then you gotta haul it all, pipe it. Well, you mean, uh, you mean oil or do you mean natural gas? Oh. Natural gas is just. The separator, yep, right at the, it comes out of the wells and they pipe it to a frack, a, a, a gas plant. Yeah. And that's where they separate sales gas, which, which is the old natural gas. And that usually goes pipeline, and the rest of it's LPG or uh, condensate. Then you take that stuff to frack plants, and they s separate all the butanes, the propanes, and stuff. And that's actually pretty good stuff, pretty cool. But it'd be cool to see it. Like a game. But then you'd have to have then your course plays and stuff would all come in handy. Because every so many hours you'd have to have a truck in to em empty out their their, their uh, tanks, eh? Yeah. Or also you can't shut a well down. That's see, not good. See that'd be cool with mod uh, to add to this game. Well they're they're kinda doing it now, so I seen a few uh a few like crude oil ones. I haven't yeah. seen any natural gas ones. Well, I just noticed today there's a... I forget what site is. There's a Derek gripping drill. I think it was you just a placeable thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But still, and if you look at the original game, there's actually pump jacks. Working pump jacks, so just an evolution. I st I'd still like to see seasons where you had like two or three, you could do two or three crop rotations and then the winter time comes and you have to either cut wood or something to supplement. I would like to have a, a reason to change crops, like you know, instead of planting the same thing in the same field all the time. Oh yeah, well, yeah. Like you know, you get better efficiency if you rotate them and all that. I'd like to see that. Yeah, you see, you plan it out. So, this growing season, we'll do three, three plant. We'll, you know, we'll plant three seasons of, uh, or th you know, three grows of potatoes. Let's say next, and this snows in the springtime. We'll prep it for wheat or corn. Yeah, or they do, or just do an alfalfa or something to plow it under. Yeah, just for you know to 
stimulate the soil. It would be also cool if we could change the, uh, the grow times for some of the crops. Like some of the crops that grow real fast, right? But then all the rest, like in real life, I mean. Yeah. Some grow real fast and others, you know, you only get one crop a season. Alright, let's see if I can bring this thing down there without wiping out. So the thing with my map, right? Yeah. I got a lot of bumps and stuff, so you can't like charge into the yards and stuff. Mm. Just so you know, because you'll flip the truck. Because <laughs> I've never seen a dirt road that was so smooth. They all got like, you know... Uh oh. Oh, the jewel's good. Oh, you got money? Yeah. I didn't get a penny. <laughs> what? You oh, gotta give me money. Hold on. <laughs> Separate accounts, yes. Sorry. Yeah, I just drove in there. I was like, uh oh, something didn't work. I appreciate that. Wow, well, yeah. <laughs> I had to pay the pile of cash for nothing. <laughs> uh, you're gonna buy the tractor anyway next. Yeah. But now when you hit the train button, now you'll get some. Oh yeah. Uh, I'll give it. Forgot. Now I need more money now to buy a tractor. So, so I'm gonna grab this the, the float truck now. You see how I'm doing that too? When I cut trees, I leave a buffer between that and the road. I'm at the train. I don't like clear cut. I don't mind cutting the block. But I think what we should do is actually get the seed planter and actually start planting these fields, plant, planting this stuff again. We need to see it all grow back up. Yeah. See, that's a lot better when you set it on, on plant growth low or slow, right? Yeah. Because then you see it, but if you put it on fast, like you turn around and it's already half grown. This field here, we own it? Uh, I don't know which one. Holy crap, you ever fix this road up, so? <laughs> oh, that's my new road I built. Oh, that one. Trucks in the air more than on the ground. It's awesome. That is a good one. Well, we needed a road there. Otherwise, you're always cutting that across the... Stupid field. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what do you got here? You got a... It's not made for trucks, really. I made it, made it for, like, tractors and stuff. What is, so what all do you have in the, in, the, in the farming part here? The big lap thing, is that a seed washer or something? Beet washer? That's a beet pulp maker. Beet pulp maker, yeah. I think everything has names on it. What you can do with it. So you can you can make your own seeds, right? You just put wheat in it. Wheat or barley and you'll make your own seeds. Okay, so you got the cow bird, which is awesome. Oh, that's nice. Our max feeders. Seed maker. Oh, yeah. That's the way to go. Oh, yeah. Like, hey, you got all this here, too. Grass, silage, words, chaff. Yeah, I changed all the words into English. They're all German. Now you go up here, you get your potato washer. Oh, this is cool. Forage. Oh, nice. You even get some placements for growing vegetables. No, no, it's chickens. Yeah, that's a chicken one. Yeah, I don't have the lettuce plant. Uh, there's something wrong with that lettuce plant anyway. I often get it crash out on me. That's the placement or the one that's in the game? Uh, well, I was using the one that was placeable and it okay. crops out. Well, that's perfect. That's all you need to do. Whatever you look, is there pig fattening and stuff? Yep. Yep. Your pig. Uh, you could buy your pigs and your chickens and all that stuff at the, the upper farm there, where the red barn is. You have all the babies there that you can buy, but we don't actually don't have trailers to handle animals yet in this game. We'll have to get a mod for that. Uh, I have the same one you do. That flag thing? You run it with your with the pickup? Oh crap! 
You, you didn't put it in this one, though. Where did you move the... The machinery thing places? That's in town now? Yep, yeah, it's in town. And where's town? Town's to the north. Well, see, you come on the driveway down to where it used to be, and you go up toward the butchers? Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, I see it. Yep, all oh, Katie. Awesome. That's what I think Billy did. He, he would cut the road off. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I wish he would have left it, personally. I love this engine. I love this truck. Oh, there's enough money now to buy another tractor. Good. Yes. So when we gonna get, get that? What? So, so when we start getting the firm. Yeah. I love those John Deere tractors. Yeah, you gotta get the ones that you, you had in there before but took it out. Uh, all you gotta do is give it a, when you look at your Euro game file next time. Yeah. Just give me the, the JD number. 45, 55, or uh, There oh, is yeah. some good But you had it, one. and you took it off of this one. I'm using yeah. my normal games because it's so awesome. I still have them. I just don't know what, 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 what series of tractors you're talking about. Oh, okay. I've had 40 different tractors. No ideas. It's a cheap one, anyway. It's only like $28,000. And there's okay. two of them. They look exactly the same. One's a front loader, and the other one's not. One has a... One's for plowing and the other one's for... But you could put a weight... What's a front loader? Or, uh, sorry, I meant... I didn't mean a front loader. One has a fork... It has a... You have a bucket on it? No. Yeah, one, you can have a... Uh, okay, one has it's, a it's got weight. a PTO in the front. And the other one doesn't. It's got a big weight with chains on it. Yeah, I think so. Well, I have them. I got... I just gotta enable them. Yeah, you gotta enable those guys again. Do you have the one that has the, uh, that two wheel drive? Uh, it's I don't it's got the forks on it? I'm not sure. Listen to this truck coming in here. I don't know if you can hear it or not. No, can't hear it. Did you buy your new tractor yet? Nope. Oh, I'll get it right now. I'm just going to park this truck up on the hill, and I'm going to park it somewhere level, somewhat level, and I'm going to set a start. I'll load from this end, you load from that end. How's that? Come on, that truck. Where'd you go? You mean just, load my truck or load your truck? You load yours, I'll load mine. Well, I'm just up top of the hill, so we're not driving into each other. Okay. I see you, yeah. You're way up there. You say the weight was no good on it, eh? Uh, well, you know, when you're driving around in the uh, forest, like you're, you're hitting stumps and stuff. Yeah. What do you think of the way it sounds when this one starts? Sounds good. I, I like the new I like the new state of the art tractors. They're just because they're cool looking. Yeah. But this here older gen, the eighty style John Deere's, they're my favorite. The big long nose on them. Yeah. I agree. I have a f is there a gas station pretty handy down there? Yep. Okay. I'm bringing uh, the fuel barrel with us. I'm going to try to go cross country here. That's the beauty too with these John Deere's, you can also use them for 
for a permit, eh? Oh yeah, they're very versatile. They're hard on fuel too, as far as I've only burned 100 liters. Well, actually, maybe a little bit more now. I know you don't you don't want to forget it overnight. <laughs> and I'd like to see a service truck for these someday. Like, like random, have random failure, heart failure. Oh, that'd be so awesome. I'd love to make that mod. I think it'd be cool. Then, then the, there's a whole, like in, in your shop, like in your, you know what I mean? Then the buy tractors, there's actually a parts, there's actually a parts department, tires. <laughs> yeah, that'd be sweet. You know, every, every, what, let's say 100 hours, you gotta replace the tires of these things. Yeah, because if you don't, like, you'll just be spinning on everything. <laughs> yeah. So let's say, like, I don't know, at 50 hours, or 25 hours, or you should start to see, like, three, four stages of wear. Yeah, I that'd be super awesome. Do you attract it like this one? Woohoo! But it's, uh... Big tires, sure, it's great. But it also means it's expensive. But I still like the maintenance idea with the uh, either have random failure, like part failure, like an alternator or a transmission or a motor goes out of it or something. We'll probably yeah. do something like that now, but I think the only way to really fix it is that you'd probably. You know, you could probably make a service truck that you drive up to it and then, you know, hit like a key, like a Y yeah. or something, and then you fixed it. Yeah. You probably make some, I could probably make a mod like that. I think that'd be cool. I don't know if you could make it like uh, cool enough where you can open up pieces and then change them out and all that. Well, no, but you just have to say that you have, you have a tractor. And it would stop you know, on you, and you you wouldn't be able to move it unless yeah. you fixed it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I could probably make something like that. Pretty quickly, I think. It doesn't have to be, like, it could be a pallet you put on the back of the truck. Yeah. Right? But you have to pick the parts up at the parts store. You, you know what I mean? Buy them, you can buy them on, just like you're going to go, where you, have to, you, know, you park your tractor, you're going to sell it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, if the message comes up when you drive the tractor, it won't run because alternator. Okay, no problem. Then you go down, hit that question mark bubble at the parts store. Yeah. Hit your R, and it brings up a menu. You flip to the menu until you find the part for that tractor. And it's, you know, there's one, that, let's say there's three of them. One's 100 bucks, it will last. 12, 20, 20 hours. One is like two hundred dollars, and you'll get thirty hours out of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's pretty awesome. And then when you're buying stuff, because we're kind of doing it now, since it's just a mod section. So have a mod section, whatever, but have a used tractor section. Actually, making the game use tractors with like 150 hours on them. All cheap. worn out. So, yeah, they're cheap, they're slow, they rattle. Tires are wore off and wore out on them. Yeah. You can buy them, you can fix them up. Or you can say, well, I'm getting tired of putting all this maintenance in them. Like a new tractor should see, you know, at least 30 hours before you really get a you know, worry about fixing stuff on them. Not in real life. No, but we I mean, game life, whatever, right? Yeah. I've only been running this tractor for point eight hours. This one here's got point one on it. But now you gotta remember these are 
Pallet Fields. I just think it'd be cool. Yeah, I like it. I like that idea. Then, like in the winter time, there you go. After your farming is done, yeah. Then you have a, a little, like a garage. Then you drive your tractor just like the last map that they made us. The game map. Yeah. It's actually got a, a crawl, you know, a, a, a crawl space for for anything, the where the tractor goes into the shop. All you have to have is a pickup truck or a trailer. You buy your parts. The parts, you know, have, the parts. What I'm trying to say is, doesn't have to look like what you bought. It just looks like a pallet. Okay. Yeah. Right. You know. Pallet you parts. To, yeah. yeah. Pallet parts. And forklifter puts it on. You take it. Take it. Take it. You drive it home. And uh, then you fix your fix your machine in the shop. I think that's cool. Well, did you know if you typed in damage mod in Alice Mods that yeah. you'll get a few hits? But they don't seem to be anything like what we're talking about. Yeah. No, but I'm, yeah, we're just trying to make a, a realism. Yeah. Which is what a simulator is, right? Yep. I mean, like big trucks. The next step after that would actually be, you know, visual damage. Yeah, have a damage model. That'd be awesome. Yeah, that'd be super sweet. What do you think if you take a load of logs in the mill, you upset the truck? Uh, that's not cheap, the real world. <laughs> no, that'd be more realistic and uh, take you a lot longer to make money in this game. Yeah, so you have to take your time. Yeah. You know, how many times can you run? How many times can you drop a log in the, the cab of it? How many times do you run into burns or something? Like the machine? Yeah, you could probably put the damage model on the equipment, but I don't know if you put it on building and stuff. Yeah. Just get a little far into it. Like all your animals, you don't have every. You never see a vet. Never see them dead. A vet or something. Oh. You never lose. You never lose an animal. It's a sickness or old age or yeah. Everything has a, everything depreciates. Well, that's quite a discussion there tonight. So other than your map, Billy don't have to download anything. Nope. Mind you, I want to... What he did was he tried to join or something. I don't know how he did it, but he figured out what mods we needed already. Yeah, it'll tell you what mods you need. If you hit the details? Yeah. Yeah. Well, if he knows how to do that, then whatever. Yeah, the problem is it doesn't tell you where to get them, right? It just tells you the name. Yeah, the problem is, yeah, like the, the, the hashtag's different. Yeah. But I, I'm going to start putting some, you know, if we're going to start farming, I'm going to put some better tractors in this game. The in-game stuff's nice, but... I just find that they're not... The 2013 had a better selector, selector of tractors for the concern. With the dude's fires and stuff, you, you can buy a tractor almost for, when you start getting bigger, you start buying better and bigger tractors. Yeah. This thing here, it, gets, it goes from 60,000 to 160,000, right off the bat. Well, the mod there for the gold edition, you you can buy cheaper tractors now. Yeah, oh yeah, the Ursus and stuff. Yeah, from Poland. Yeah. Yeah, I like the... I don't know why Billy just doesn't get the gold edition. I'm sure he can afford it. Yeah, because the gold edition has a better truck. Better truck? But man, it's good tandem. Does it? I didn't yeah. know. Oh yeah, good. I'm sure you're in it. 
Yeah, it's just like the one that you had earlier with the Tana, single axle, but it's Tana. Cool. Microphone muted. Can't get enough of this tractor. This works so good. Kind of silly because I before I would never cut tree mix. Microphone activated because I couldn't figure a cheap way of hauling it. Right? Yeah. So this is actually that truck. This trader, this this truck here, is actually cheaper than a, 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 rig, a decent tractor, and that uh, red trader that goes behind the tractor. For chips and stuff. Well, fifty-seven thousand for that, and it's uh, fifty thousand to buy this tractor. Yeah, a, lo a loader, right? And for 14, for under 30, you're going to have that truck too. Actually, well, I don't know. How much is the International? Yeah, that truck's only 15,000. Right. And you can even paint it whatever car you want. That's really nice. Is your trailer almost loaded? Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you're loaded there, we'll go down together. Oh, the pen. How much do you put on your trailer? Uh, I don't know. I, I probably could go now, but I'll, put, I'll keep on putting more. Really well, it would. Yes, I think he's on Team Speak. Nope, yeah. I just told Rod your new step, your new bat. You told who? Billy. Oh, okay. But how long is your video going on? Uh, it's been going on for an hour. Should, what? Should, uh, should reset it here soon. Oh yeah. Yeah. Are you gonna like kick us out or something? No, I go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time for a break, everybody. <laughs> Stay tuned.